did you know that recently I just bought a microphone? You can't tell it right now because I'm recording on the camera. Uh, sorry for that, but let's continue. So now I'm at school uh, with my face mask on because I have to. Uh, but today, two parcels also to arrive one with a Bluetooth adapter for my computer, which isn't half Bluetooth, and one with the topic of this video a new microphone. It's supposed to be come past last night, and the uh, parcels already at a sorting uh, sensor. Actually, the two parcels are at a sorting it's a really exciting day. It's about quarter past night and I already have a ten subscribers. Thank you. Yeah, so as of right now, uh, my parcel is on the way. Uh, great news. So, I can't open it. Almost fell away. Uh, it's this Bluetooth dongle. Didn't lose it. So, it's, I guess it's designed not to be returned. It says right there, Windows, Bluetooth, compatible. I'm going to put on my writing box onto this one. At all. said, this is normal USB flash on, but it isn't. Yes, I guess it does have flash, but that's only used to store the frequencies of the different and the settings of the different device I'm going to connect to this. And one more thing I have, the last thing, is this teeny tiny fragile trial I just put on there to put the microphone on. So yeah, now it is time to see Get rid of the tape. This is a very hard one. So I'm doing it off camera now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. I oh, don't want all to do time that, but opening it up reveals some paperwork and some. Paperwork and the SIG itself. Just this time, so let's make sure not to lose it while we are going to plug it into the computer. Right here. I was about to be connecting up my new microphone. So let's put the camera back there and do that. Getting rid of the little spring right there. Um, there's the cable. I'm going to be plugging in this end inside the microphone input at the back of my computer. To do, but hey, there we go. It's a new device, anyway. That is oh, did you see that little power LED came on? And I can adjust the sensitivity of the microphone with this button. Okay, so test, test, test. I'm now going to do a test of uh, the microphone at a higher distance from a object. So, at a low distance like this, it works very well, but. Let's say that I on high distance with a softer object. Anyway, so let's do this. So, as you might have heard, the microphone at a greater distance sounds a little bit softer and blocks quite a lot of noise. But noise cancellation or noise reduction can only be a good thing as uh, 
if I'm talking at a uh, low distance, uh, if uh, I want to call something at a greater distance, I might want to amplify the signal even further, which is totally possible in Audacity. I've used my microphone, uh, that one right there, uh, for the video I'm making for this very video, along with a video about my first language and a Let's Play video. Uh, the first one I made, first Let's Play. But I've also used it on Teams, which, well, sorry, wow. So, how do I have it set up? I've got my iPad right there uh, connected via the splitter that came with it into the iPad. Uh, connected to a microphone if you have that little splitter. Now how do I tap audio out of it? Well there are two possible ways if I participate uh, there's a possibility to switch to the loudspeaker built in. There it is. And the other possible way is to tap the audio source from this headphone port which the cable fortunately also has into another device so I get hooked up to my speaker like that. Sorry I'm not using a tripod uh, for this scene. And if I went into the speaker or I can plug it into the line input there. So in order to set a device to repeat through the speakers uh, or the headphones that are connected to the computer uh, I'm going to select the input device then I'm going to go into right here and then I'm going to go into device properties then extra device properties and then I'm going to go to this tab listen uh, which is to repeat uh, device so if I do that uh, I'm not going to do that to the microphone, but I did that to the auxiliary output uh, or the aux out, which is the line level input of a back of a computer. I've just renamed that to aux out. It also might be named a little bit differently, but you're looking for something that should have a uh, line input. <coughs> so uh, you click that one, then you go to device properties, extra device properties, listen and turn on the little checkbox here that should say something like listen to this device of course it's all in Dutch uh, as of right now uh, so yeah I can't add any explanation in text I'm just going to move that through speech right now I've also bought a uh, simple Bluetooth adapter which was in short very simple I just plugged it in to my computer uh, and it worked like it should uh, without any installation of drivers or any issues I had. Uh, but about the microphone, it works very well. I've used it quite a couple of times for videos and also on Teams uh, for conference call. And I was quite understandable, very understandable. Uh, so I think it's a great buy. And even if it were to break down, at least it comes with an adapter that allows me to use uh, the next microphone with my iPad right away, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. But I hope it doesn't break down, uh, because it is such a great microphone. Uh, uh, actually, it's so great to have a microphone separate from a camera in the first place, because that means that I can... Uh, record at a high quality, and also record at a higher distance from the camera, uh, if it's an iPad or a smartphone. Uh, two meter cable, very nice. Uh, now, that is it for the new microphone, and uh, hope to see you again.